What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renato aka Jungle and this is my little corner here in the plant community on YouTube. So if you like plants and plant related content, go ahead and consider subscribing down below. So today we'll be talking about the Zamia coccus Zamia foia, also known as the ZZ plant. There's other varieties of ZZ plants as well just like the ZZ Zenzi where the leaves are pretty much more compact and also the ZZ Raven where the leaves are so dark that they almost look black and that's why it's called the ZZ Raven. I've um, actually been trying to look for a ZZ Raven for a while now but I can't seem to find it to be honest. It seems like they're becoming more popular so hopefully um, one of these days I'll be able to find one. So unlike my other plant care videos, I'll keep this one fairly short mainly because this plant is so easy to take care of um, that there's really not much to it. So without further ado, let's get started. So in terms of lighting, um, I know probably 90-99% of everyone that has the ZZ plant actually have it in a very low light setting. Um, primarily because a lot of folks um, just want to fill that dark space in their room, their living room and whatnot. And that's actually the good thing about the ZZ plant is that it can actually um, live and survive in low light conditions. I want to say maybe a lot better than other plants. It's getting a bad rap as being kind of a low light plant, which I mean it is. Um, but just like you know all the other plants, it needs light. And the more light you give it, the more growth that you'll get. So it can live through all different kind of lighting conditions. You can put it in more a high, uh, bright, indirect light to all the way down to a low light conditions. So in terms of watering, um, the ZZ plant actually is more of a succulent like plant. Um, it stores a lot of its water in its thick stems and also the rhizome um, down below, which kind of looks like potatoes to be honest with you. So it doesn't need much water because it holds on to a lot of it. Um, you also have to consider on where you have your ZZ plant located. So of course if you have it in a lower light setting, you want to back off on your watering. Unlike when you're having a bright indirect um, setting where it would need a little bit more water. Um, but typically I water this guy maybe once a month to be honest with you. Sometimes when I've actually forgotten the last time I've watered it, I'll just give it a little um, drink to be honest and then it, it's pretty much doing just fine so again you just want to be careful with watering your ZZ plant as I said it stores a lot of its water so if you just keep giving it more and more water it'll eventually get root rot and that's the last thing you want to happen so I feel as if uh, most folks that have ZZ plants and have killed their ZZ plants it's primarily because they've over watered it again so just try to maybe stick to a monthly watering basis and see how that goes and what I also like to do is just kind of squeeze the stems a little bit and if they feel a little soft then I give it a little bit of watering so that's kind of how I gauge when to water this plant. These plants really don't require much humidity to be honest. Whatever humidity you have in your house, the ZZ plant will be fine in. It's not like your other tropical plants where they require higher humidity. So um, this plant is pretty much tolerable to any humidity levels that you give it. Um, in terms of uh, fertilization, it doesn't need much fertilizing, but um, a little bit will help it grow. So in terms of propagation, ZZ plants are actually very easy to propagate. The easiest way to probably propagate them is through divisions. And what you'll do is pretty much um, divide the rhizomes into separate plants and pot them up that way. Um, what you can also do is uh, take a branch with a couple of leaves and put it in water and wait until it roots. And also I've heard, I haven't tried it yet, is also you can stick a leaf, uh, do leaf cuttings and have them root as well. I don't really advise doing the, the branch or the stem or the leaf method to be honest with you. Since they are such slow growers, it'll probably take a long time for them to actually root for you. So I'd actually just stick with um, the vision to propagate these guys. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Again, I just wanted to keep this video short because the ZZ plant honestly is so easy to take care for. So I didn't want to spend too much time. Until next time, 